Imagine if your wake-up call every single day comprised of your own mother shaking you so hard at the crack of dawn. You were shaken till you rolled out of your bed, a heap of sun-dried grass on the mud floor. Then you were told to get out of the house with no food in your stomach and not to return to your house unless you had a certain amount of money in your hands. With that, you performed your routine of making your way down to the beach to sell your young body to any lusty man you could find. I distinctly remember coming home from school a few years ago and telling my mom that I'd had such a hard day and I'd had so much work to do and I was so tired. Her response was, Do you know that just today I found out that a girl your age got impregnated through child prostitution in the village? And if you think you had a hard day, you should probably just think about what she is going through at this very moment. I was shocked and bewildered, and I couldn't comprehend how a girl my age was forced to give up her innocence and her education in order to contribute to her family's income through this illicit trade. I carried out some research at the only primary school in this village and realized that every girl there, on average, misses five days of school a month when she is menstruating because she doesn't have the money to buy herself sanitary pads. If she misses five days a month, it totals to 60 days a year. I then realized that this was the contributing reason to why boys did better academically and a lot of girls didn't get into secondary school. Most girls, therefore, were forced to stay home after they finished grade 8, and a lot of them became victims of child prostitution. My idea, therefore, is to start a global campaign to end child prostitution by ensuring that as many children as possible, especially girls, stay in school. If these girls are provided with sanitary pads, they will be able to have access to an undisrupted education, which in turn will lead to higher grades, which will allow them to attend secondary school. They will therefore be educated and will be able to work towards futures which are bright. The sanitary pads, however, should be those that are recyclable and reusable in order to provide as many girls as possible with them and in order to protect the environment. These would also be cheaper, more hygienic, more accessible and are produced by various pharmaceutical companies all around the world. One second from now, a young girl will be trafficked into the sex trade. One simple second. For these simple seconds, it is up to us to work towards protecting children from trafficking and prostitution. In this way, every child in the world would feel safe from violence, which would otherwise hinder them from reaching their full potential, affecting their own individual future, and the future of a family, a community, a nation, a continent, and ultimately the world.